welcome to the channel simplified today we will discuss present value of money present value is related to the concept of time value of money and is the inverse or opposite of the concept of future value time value of money refers to the idea that cash received at different points of time are of different values so when we need to compare different schemes of payment where cash is received on different dates we need to calculate either future value or present value to make them comparable in this video we will compare the idea of present value against the idea of future value to give it more clarity we will also examine this concept from multiple angles so that you can choose the perspective which you are most comfortable with from this perspective you can refer to future value as the maturity value or the money that you will get in the future if you invest it at a particular rate for a particular period of time present value is just the back calculation of today's investment value based on what you are going to get in the future for example if you deposited 10000 rupees in bank today and you are going to get 12000 after 2 years the 12000 is called future value and the 10000 is called present value one more way to describe future value and present value is from the growth angle future value is the value of money with growth included and present value is with growth excluded To calculate future value we do compounding we multiply the amount of investment with the growth factor whereas to calculate present value we do discounting which is nothing but the process of removing or excluding the growth the calculation involves dividing it with the growth factor as a result future value will always be higher than present value the relationship between present value and future value can be expressed in an equation like this future value is present value into growth factor on the other hand present value is future value divided by growth factor when we divide it we generally call it discount factor instead of growth factor but please remember the formula or calculation is the same which is one point rate to the power years we have discussed this formula in detail in the future value video so we won't go into further details now if it's not clear please watch the other video the link is available in the description The concept of time value of money suggests that the worth of the same amount of money keeps changing over time. 50 years ago, if you had an income of 10000 rupees per month, you would be rich. But today, that amount is at the level of minimum wages. In this context, present value can be defined as today's worth of future money. And future value can be defined as future days worth of today's money. Let's say you are expected to receive 67000 rupees after 5 years in 2029. You know that 67000 after 5 years is worth much lower than 67000 today. But how much lower? We can find that out by dividing it by the discount factor, which will be 1.06 to the power 5. I'm assuming inflation is 6%. In other words, the value of money is expected to reduce by 6% over the next 5 years. So in 5 years it will reduce by 1.06 to the power 5 times which is 1.338 that comes to approximately 50000 this 50000 is the present value and this 67000 is the future value now there is a small thing that sometimes people get confused with if you look at the amounts future value is higher but doesn't inflation reduce the value in future then how come it's increasing let me try to clarify this Here this 50000 and this 67000 are actually equal because what you can buy with 50000 in 2024 and what you can buy with 67000 in 2029 will be roughly the same but if i take a 1000 rupee note out of each pile this 1000 can buy you more quantity so each rupee from the 2024 pile is worth more value And since each note in 2029 pile is less valuable, you will need more number of notes to buy the same quantity of goods. So the number of currency is higher, but the value of each currency is lower in future value. I hope that part is clear now. I would like to give one more clarification here. The words future and present are only in relation to each other and not necessarily with reference to today's date. That is If I invested 50000 in 2014 and I got 67000 in 2019 the 67000 will still be called future value even though it happened 5 years ago 
what i'm trying to say is that we are not calling future value because it is in the future from today but rather it is in the future with respect to the initial date of the payment which was 2014 so often people call present value for the value of investment as on the first day of the cash flow and future value is the value as on the last day of the cash flow and that is why whenever we use the terms present value or future value we have to say present value as on jan 1st 2021 or future value as on 31st December 2018. We have to specify the date we are referring to. I hope this video has given an in-depth and comprehensive view of the concepts of both future value and present value. Each perspective has its own practical application. And once you understand it from all the angles, you will be able to apply the same concept in multiple situations. That brings us to the end of this video and hope to see you all in the next video.